Welcome to this video on how to add products on ProKeep. There are two ways of adding products on ProKeep. The first is adding it directly, imputing your product details directly. And the second is by importing it into the app. I'll be throwing light on how to do this at the end of this video, that's in the second part. But we'll be concentrating today on the first method. That is keying it directly into this app. To do that, you click on your locate and click on your products on your menu, side menu there. And when you get to your product page, you click on the add button by the top right corner. This takes you to the add new product page where you are going to key in the details of your product. The first thing you see there by the right is either to manage or to disable manage stock. Enable or disable manage stock. So if we enable it here, this simply means you are um, allowing the app to manage your stock and alert you when it's running out so that you can reorder, so that you can resupply. So the first name here, the first field here is the product name the product name so we type in the product name to be filled in here to be entered so let's take our product to be jack so the product name there is jack the next thing here is your sku your stock keep unit this is the app assigned number to your product now you leave it blank so that the app can assign a number to it or if your product has a barcode and you intend to use a barcode scanner, you place your cursor here and use your barcode scanner to scan the barcode of your product. Automatically, the barcode appears here and is apportioned to this your product. The next thing there is your product type. So you choose either if it's a single, a variable or a combo. For now, we are using a single. Those other options, variable and combos, will be taught in other videos. And then we proceed to choose the unit of sales. Our unit for this, our jack, is in pieces. You also choose the location where you want this jack to be sold in, to be stocked. So if you have five locations and you want your jack to be stocked in your five locations, choose here and choose all the locations one by one and it will be stocked there the next thing is your reorder unit this simply means the minimum quantity of this particular product you want to have in your store so that you can reorder that's the function of the managed stock so for us now we want to have at least a hundred pieces of this jack available in store so that we can reorder when it gets to that minimum threshold so that's uh, is set there and that is done. We scroll down now to your purchase price. So this stock is purchased for 200 Naira. The purchase price is 200 Naira. And the default selling price of this stock is 500 Naira. So all these are the major minimum necessary requirements to be keyed in to add a new product. We now proceed to save and add stock. It brings us to the add opening stock page. Now, so we have created a new product. We need to add quantity of this particular product in that location to be able to sell it. So I've counted the quantity of jacks I have in my store and I realize I have 182 jacks in my store. So I've added my opening stock which amounts to this total amount after I've, I've added my opening stock. The subtotal of the worth of this entire stock is this. I scroll down and I click on save. And there you are. Opening stock added successfully, product jack added successfully to this location, unit purchase price 
unit selling price and um, the current stock quantity are these. I hope you understand that. Now let's go over to how we can add product by importing this product. So when you click on your product, click on import products. Now this brings us to the page where we can get a template to fill in so that we can import our product. This is best for establishments that have many products, over a hundred products. So I've clicked on download templates. My template is downloading here. It's an Excel template. It's done and I'm opening it. So this is the template for me to fill in to import my products into the app. So I'll need to provide the name of every product I want to import. I need to provide the, the unit of every product I want to import. The SQ I leave it. Manage stock yes or no. Um, a large quantity I fill in the large quantity. They also uh, supply the the selling price tax if it's inclusive or exclusive you fill in exclusive there the product type most often we have single products they're using variation you fill in as the case may be i'm just running through the basic requirement for this template to upload on the app then you go ahead and fill in the purchase price including tax you fill in the same thing the same purchase price for excluding tax you forget about the profit margin supply your selling price and if you have opening stock supply it also you supply the location if you have different locations but if you leave it blank by default it will be supplied to your first location on your app these are the minimum requirements for you to fill this template for them to be uploaded on the app now if you are filling any colon kindly do not leave any colon blank particularly for where you need figures if you are not sure of the price now put in zero and you can edit it later so after filling this you save it on your desktop and then you come back here to your app so you now choose your file direct it to your desktop where you have your file and choose and click and open and then you submit automatically all those products you have supplied will be imported into your app as you specify i hope this was simple and straightforward thank you for listening brokeep your business growth partner